Hi guys, this is Dan Calloway and I'm coming at you again today. I want to talk about a new Linux distribution I'm kicking the tires on. Um, I think you'll like it once you, you take a look at it. Uh, it's called KDE Neon 5.11.5. Uh, it's based uh, loosely on Ubuntu, I believe uh, version 16.04 LTS, as a matter of fact. We'll get into that in a moment. Um, the reason I switched over to KDE Neon 5.11.5 which by the way I'm very happy I did, uh, is I was using uh, uh, OpenSUSE Leap 42.3 and I don't want to badmouth that distribution. It does have a lot of great uh, things about it. Uh, but one of the things that I couldn't live uh, without were the proper codecs to run uh, video, animation, uh, movies, that kind of thing in the operating system on my browser. I just I could not get the codecs uh, install properly and there were missing codecs that I could not find uh, and I even had a friend help me with it and I I tried and tried and tried and I finally just threw up my hands and said I'm I'm gonna get another distribution of, of Linux and see if I can fix this problem um, so I went ahead and used my clonezilla uh, disk uh, cloning uh, application and cloned a, an image of that so I can preserve it in case I need to go back to it and uh, it'll be exactly like I left it. But I've moved to KDE Neon uh, 5.11.5. This is the operating system right here. Really happy with it. Um, I've got wallpaper I've got on here. I've themed this thing out with the breeze dark theme. I've got a uh, dark look and feel to it. I've also got um, icon set up, I believe the Adweta icon uh, arrangement or theme. Uh, and I've done some desktop effects that I'll show you here momentarily, um, which I really like, and also uh, some other things that I've done to tweak this, uh, including changing the application menu over to a dashboard, which I prefer, and I'll show you that also in a moment. But let's get started. I want to show you here, I've got a widget out here, which is my uh, analog clock. If I hover over it, it tells me it's Monday, February the 5th. Uh, it's got a a sweep second hand on it which I really like and if I click on it it brings up my calendar and I really like this because it keep, I can keep track of appointments and other things and it does alert me, it notifies me within the operating system when these things do come up if I tell it to and so I like that. Uh, one of the other things I have is this particular widget out here which is a CPU RAM monitor uh, that came with the theme uh, that I installed uh, as well and so I kept it. I really like it. Keep track of uh, what my processor is doing, how much RAM I'm using, that kind of thing. Okay, um, you'll notice that I also have a Mac OS X appearing dock or it's called Docky. Uh, it's called, actually called Cairo Dock. I install that in here and uh, let me back up and tell you that uh, one of the things I really love about KDE Neon is I have not installed anything yet that gave me trouble. Uh, everything was easily installed uh, so far and um, didn't belch at all. I mean it was perfect uh, installation, uh, no warnings, nothing. I mean it was uh, this is a wonderful operating system. Alright and so with the Cairo dock I can come over and let's say if I click here you'll notice how it bounces up and down. <clears throat> this is the Firefox web browser uh, that it's launching right now and it opens up the web browser uh, I like Firefox but I like, there's another one I like even better it's uh, called Opera I'll show you that one here momentarily and I'll tell you why I like it or prefer it over Firefox one of the things I would like to recommend to you guys is uh, if you get an opportunity go up to www.kadaza.com I've got forward slash news and that came from clicking the news uh, button over here, right there. Um, this is a start page that I have. It's actually my home page uh, in the Firefox and in the Opera web browser. Uh, it's got 24 icons here of, of things related to news. For instance, if I want to go to Wall Street Journal, I just click the Wall Street Journal button. I don't have to remember the uh, you know URL or anything like that. It just takes me right there. Uh, I really like it. Um, and um, takes a few seconds in Firefox to come up but uh, so I've got that if I want to go back to uh, to this and I want to switch out to say tech news 
click the tech news button and it takes me to 24 icons of tech news which I really really like I really enjoy all right so uh, remember that it's www.kadaza.com let me close the Firefox web browser and let me come out to the Opera web browser let me click on that and show you the the reason that I prefer Opera over Firefox I still got the kadaza.com start page or home page here not a problem but if I click another tab to create another tab it takes me out to the dash uh, I mean to the speed dial rather uh, the speed dial I can add buttons here which take me out to various places uh, I've got my router console, my AI cloud, my WDMI cloud access. I've got YouTube, uh, Facebook, Google Plus, etc. Let me go click on YouTube, and that takes me immediately out to YouTube, uh, which I follow. I've got a channel up there and subscribe to many people. I've got many people following me and subscribing to me as well. I think like 260 now. Um, I really like it. Um, I prefer the Opera web browser. It's much faster, I think, than and Firefox and it has other advantages as well uh, that I'll get into later in a later video so let me go ahead and close that alright so one of the other things I want to show you is I've installed Thunderbird Mail uh, GNOME FTP client if I click on that uh, it takes me out to my GNOME FTP uh, client which I really like I can do FTP it also serves as a SSH or uh, FSP client as well by just flipping these buttons over here. Uh, if I want to get up to my personal cloud I just hit that and it prompts me for my password. Oop, I lost it. Get back into it. Oh, let, me, uh, let me close it and reopen it. I don't know what happened to it here. Oh, here it is. Enter password. There we go. Alright. All right, and so it uh, immediately logs me into my personal cloud. I can go up to the public side. Got a lot of things sharing up there: shared documents, shared music, shared pictures and videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I really like this client. Uh, it's got a, uh, you know, a file manager kind of a view here, um, uh, and I can hit these buttons to transfer things to and from. So it uploads, downloads. Um, through this client to my personal cloud or anywhere else I want I choose to connect to I really like it so I, I'll disconnect from it um, here is my mail I've already got it up this is uh, Thunderbird mail client I've got three email accounts that I'm monitoring over here my Gmail my Vivaldi.net mail and my Charter.net my Charter is my ISP and so I've got mail up there as well let me go ahead and close that um, the other thing I want to show you here is um, if I go down to the start menu it takes me out to my uh, dashboard it's called and I've got recent applications recent documents all apps and then I've got various categories here if I come down to office for instance it's got the entire office suite here uh, and one of the things I'll talk about here in a moment is is that uh, KDE Neon 5.11.5 uh, by the way is based on um, as I said on Ubuntu 1604 LTS but it is also uh, has the KDE 5 Plasma desktop and so it came bare bones I mean it didn't have very many apps installed at all which I prefer actually because then I can build it the way I want it one of the things it did not come with which was surprising to me was it did not come with LibreOffice and so I was able to install LibreOffice 6 without having to first uninstall LibreOffice 5 which can be a problem from time to time uh, some people have uh, voiced uh, issues with 5 still wanting to run even after what was supposedly a complete uh, removal of that uh, suite Key, uh, by the way the Office Suite LibreOffice uh, 6 and by the way let me go ahead and just pull that up while I'm in here I'll have a future video on LibreOffice as well um, I've actually got to click on this button down here because I've got there we go I had it open already um, and that's uh, LibreOffice 6 it's got writer, calc, uh, impress, drawing, map and, and database if I minimize this you'll notice how it came down and uh, that's called a magic lamp appearance that's one of the desktop effects that I set up and then if I uh, 
bring it back up, it, it expands again. That's pretty slick, I like it. Um, also, if I, well, let me pull it back up. If I move from one desktop to another one, uh, I get this uh, cube animation, which I really prefer. It's really slick too, it's another desktop effect. You can set that up here by just typing on the desktop. Click on desktop effects and uh, it brings it up and you can maximize it and you just select uh, the things that you want to have happen. Magic lamp is one of them. I wanted the desktop cube animation to be another and then the desktop cube down here. So that's how you do it. So that's how you get the desktop theme, desktop effects, uh, icon theme. I've got the Atweda icons here. That's really slick. Um, the other thing is I've got my KeyPassX uh, password manager here. If you don't know what KeyPassX is, the latest is KeyPassXC. Um, very, very nice. Uh, I've used this for years uh, and it hasn't failed me yet, so I really like that. All right, so let's get back to uh, here. I've got the um, uh, menu down here at the bottom here. If I right click on it and select menu or panel options rather in settings, it brings this up and I can change the height of this if I want. Uh, I kind of like it right there. I can add widgets from here. Uh, I can get into more settings and turn this thing on so that it's always visible or auto hides, uh, etc. It's right now set on always visible. All right, so I've got, I mean, on auto hide rather. And so it auto hides when I move off of it. Uh, it gives me more desktop to work with. Let's go back to. Um, here and get into the dashboard and you can do a logout, reboot, shutdown from here. The console, that's your terminal. Um, it pops up here. I've tweaked this out a little bit, adding the solarized appearance and increase the uh, font uh, fonts a little bit, the size of the fonts. If I do a sudo apt uh, update, it's going to go out and refresh the, after I put in the password, it's going to go out and refresh the repositories. I've added a repository since it started, which is this one right here. Uh, so I can get a simple screen recorder set up. This is what I'm using, by the way, to record this video. Great application, SSR it's called, in Linux. And then I'm going to install an OpenShot video uh, editor as well. So videos I create, I can then go back and uh, uh, edit those videos using the OpenShot editor. All right, so right now what it's done is it's uh, actually got 15 packages that can be upgraded. I can look at those by typing in the apt list upgradable. I'm going to skip that and do the sudo apt upgrade and tell it to go ahead and just upgrade those packages, those 15 packages. And so I'm going to say yes to continuing. I'm going to go out and upgrade those packages. This is a very fast operating system, by the way. The terminal runs really, really smoothly. Uh, and really fast. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Um, one of the other things too is I was able to get the driver for my uh, Broadcom BCM4322 network interface card internal integrated. In this laptop I've got a Dell Latitude 6400, E6400. Um, wireless came up okay but I needed to install the driver. That's one of the things that Ubuntu is bad at doing. Um, but anyway it works fine now and so I can access the five gigahertz band on the wireless side of my router. All right, so we've got a progress bar going here, about 58, 59 percent, so it looks like it's looking good. Uh, very impressed again, like I said, with uh, key, uh, KDE Neon 5.11.5. Highly recommend you kick the tires on it. Uh, I, I want to bet right now that you'll probably switch to it if you if you install it and start playing with it. I mean, I was really happy with the way everything's laid out, with the way everything installed, and um, didn't have to go looking for a lot of stuff, especially codecs, and that was my big big problem with, uh, as I said, with OpenSUSE Leap 42.3. All right, so uh, it's about wrapped up here. And it's at 98% progress. It's finishing up right now, probably doing a depackage. Uh, finishing up the installation. If it doesn't finish here momentarily, I'll just minimize this and move on and close the video out. Um, but I wanted to show you this new uh, Linux distro uh, that I'm 
that I'm looking at. And let me go ahead and just minimize this. And uh, one of the final things I wanted to tell you is let me fire up Opera again and show you uh, a little bit about KDE Neon 5.11.5. Let me maximize that here. And let me click this button. And I believe I have a distro watch. Yeah, button. Let me go out to distro watch. Let me bring that up. All right, so I'm going to select the distribution here. And so let me go down to KDE Neon. All right, and so you can see that is a Debian Ubuntu based, which means it uses the Aptitude package manager. Um, and it uses Debian files, not RPMs. Uh, it was uh, originated in the UK. I'm running the 64 bit version right now. It's got the KDE Plasma 5 desktop. Uh, it's an active uh, distribution, uh, fully supported. Looks like the uh, support, I've looked at the support a little bit. Looks pretty good. The community looks like it really supports this distro. Uh, here's the homepage, neon.kde.org. Uh, it does have a popularity of 23. It gets 383 hits a day. Let's go out to the home page real quick before we close up the video. And um, so if it takes me out here to the KDE Neon, this is the KDE Neon homepage, and uh, lots of good stuff here. Uh, there's a slim book, uh, there's a developer's edition. I'm running the beginner's edition, actually, or the user edition, it's called. Uh, but it's a solid core. Uh, stable, it's not rolling. It's not one of the uh, rolling distros where it rolls, gets, you know, updates all the time, like uh, Tumbleweed does in OpenSUSE. Uh, but it is a stable, built on an LTS. All right, so this has been a video showing you KDE Neon 5.11.5. Have a nice day.